this is dr k raghuram mohan reddy associate professor department of mechanical engineering institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad the course name is unconventional machining process topic is ultrasonic machining problems and solutions so at the end of this session student will be able to solve the simple problems on material removal rate of ultrasonic machining so along with this material removal rate some other parameters are also can be able to find right so before we going to discuss the numerical problems let us see the basic non traditional machining processes and its categorization right basically non traditional machining processes are categorized into mechanical thermal chemical and electrochemical in mechanical we have ultrasonic machining water jet machining abrasive water jet machining ice jet machining in thermal electro discharge machining electron beam machining laser beam machining ion beam machining plasma beam machining in chemical and electrochemical chemical milling photochemical milling electrochemical milling now in this topic we are going to discuss problems on ultrasonic machining okay so before we discuss the problems let us briefly discuss the ultrasonic machining introduction okay so it has discovered during the year 1945 okay and the industrial applications began in the 1950 okay so particularly ultrasonic machining is the removal of hard and brittle materials okay right so this is the schematic diagram of ultrasonic machining working principle okay so already we have discussed in the previous presentations the working principle and its function and everything so let us just briefly look into this okay right here the tool will vibrate vertically so that uh, it will remove the work piece material okay so during vibration a slurry will also circulate between the tool and the work piece right now let us discuss the problem number 1 material removal rate calculation okay now see here in any ultrasonic machining or any non traditional machining processes the problem will be very simple okay we need to find the required thing according to the given problem sometimes the superfluous data may be given okay so students should have to understand there will be some superfluous data so without using that superfluous data we can solve the problem but we can analyze and assess the other parameters with that superfluous data okay right an ultrasonic machining process is being used to machine a ceramic material the following data is available abrasive particle size 50 microns given okay amplitude of vibration 15 microns given frequency of vibration 20 kilohertz volume concentration of abrasive in the slurry is 25% okay density of the work material 3 grams per cubic centimeter volume of the work piece material removed is 
zero five cubic centimeters. Okay, so calculate the material removal rate in cubic centimeter per minute. Okay, so here material removal rate in simple it is MRR. So in subsequent slides if you find MRR anywhere that is material removal rate. Okay, right. So this is the problem. Okay, we need to find the material removal rate. So we need to calculate material removal rate for the given data. Right. Calculate the material removal rate in cubic centimeters per minute. Okay. So right. What is the solution? In order to calculate the MRR, we have the formula volume of material removed by time taken for machining. Okay. So MRR is the ratio of okay. MRR is the ratio of volume of material removed by time taken for machining okay so material removal rate for the ultrasonic machining is the ratio of volume of material removed to the time taken for machining okay so it is very simple at particular time okay at particular time of machining how much volume of material has been removed that is nothing but material removal rate. So we know the units of volume in cubic centimeters and time will be in minutes. Suppose if the data is given in some other units, we need to convert into the following units. Okay. So if the time is given in hours, we have to convert into minutes. Even if it is given in seconds also, we have to convert into minutes. Okay. So, this is where students will do mistakes. Okay. So, with the given data, just uh, you people will do like this. Let us say, um, volume of mater material removal is, let us say, 20 cubic centimeters. But that it has happened in one hour. Okay. So, 20 by 1 and finally, they write units in cubic centimeters per hour, sorry, minute. Okay. So, we should convert the tower into minutes and the final units must be in cubic centimeters per minute. Okay. As per the standards. Right. Now, this is the formula. What could be the data here? Volume of the workpiece material removal that is given. How much? 0.05 cubic centimeters. Okay. Any time given here? Okay. Forget about that one. Any time given here? No time is given. Okay. So, we have to assume some time. See, already I told you in the given problem, some superfluous data will be given. And at the same time, some data will be missing. So, as per our the knowledge on machining, we have to assume some data like time taken for the machining. Okay. Usually, that it will be given or we can find as per our machining. Okay, but sometimes we have to assume. Okay, so here volume of the workpiece material removed is given 0.05 cubic centimeters. Okay, but the rest of the data is not useful to find the time taken here. Okay, but we want the time taken for the machine. We do not have. So based on these abrasive particles and amplitude of vibration and frequency of vibration and all these things okay with our expertise we have to assume that time taken let us say that is 
two means. Okay. Okay. See, based on other process parameters that it has given. Okay. So typically this would be provided or calculated based on the other process parameters, but that is not given only volume of the work made workpiece material we are is given point not 5 cubic centimeters and we are assuming that time taken for the machining is 2 minutes now point not 5 by 2 that is point not 2 5 cubic centimeters per minute here the problem is simple mathematics but the thing is that we have to use our engineering knowledge okay suppose instead of uh, two minutes time taken if we take let us say 20 hours then it will be very odd okay so here the material is um, usually uh, brass or iron or something mild steel okay for these materials the material removal rate be 0.05 cubic centimeters well let us see two to three minutes only okay it cannot be in hours okay so we have to use our common sense and engineering knowledge right now let us discuss the problem two okay tool wear ratio calculation okay so this is workpiece this is two okay so just we have calculated the workpiece removal rate we have calculated okay material removal rate okay now tool weight ratio calculation okay so tool also subject to weight now we have to find the twr tool weight ratio so in subsequent slides, if you find TWR anywhere, that is tool weight ratio. Okay, right. Now, in ultrasonic machining, USM, in simple, ultrasonic machining is USM. Okay, the following data is observed. Volume of work material removed. 0.03 cubic centimeters. Volume of tool material removed 0.002 cubic centimeters. Calculate the tool wear ratio. Okay. Right. Solution. For tool wear ratio, the formula is that volume of tool material removed to the volume of work material removed. Already I told you this is tool that it will vibrate, this is workpiece, tool, workpiece, okay. So what will happen when we vibrate this tool here? the workpiece surface material will be removing but at the same time this tool also will subject to some wear okay so here tool wear ratio means volume of material removed by the tool and volume of work material removed okay so volume of tool material removed by volume of work material removed okay this is t w r what is t w r tool wear ratio okay right now in the given data see here in the problem what is the given data volume of work material 
given mm. and volume of tool material removed given so this is the first data this is the second data okay and don't confuse that which is denominator which should be numerator okay so the upper one is tool so volume of tool material removed by volume of work material removed okay so already i told you here the tool vibrates and work piece will be fixed to the fixer okay so always tool will be on top so in this tool wear ratio okay the volume of tool material removed by volume of work piece material okay right so here the ratio would be 0.002 by 0.03 see here 0.002 by 0.003 so that's value is 0.0667 okay so here the ratio of volume to volume then no units okay so this is tool wear ratio okay understood point 0667 okay units of the tool material are what power required for usm okay ultrasonic machining and the data is given as amplitude vibration is given frequency <coughs> excuse me frequency of tool vibration is given force applied on tool is given calculate the power required for the ultrasonic machining process okay amplitude frequency and force applied these three are given okay so in order to calculate power the formula is force applied on the tool and the velocity of the tool k f into v where f equal to force applied on the tool v equal to velocity of the tool k okay. and the velocity v of the tool can be calculated as 2 pi f into a okay what is f frequency of vibration and a is amplitude of vibration in meters so that we will find velocity of the tool what is the formula 2 pi f into a where f equal to frequency in h and a equal to amplitude of vibration in meters right so a is given 20 microns okay and convert into meters and f is given in kilo h 25 kilo h so convert into h and force f is given in newtons keep as it is okay now you calculate v 2 pi f what is v 2 pi f into a okay this is 2 pi this is f okay this is a in h okay right so that it will be in meters per second that is 3.14 meters per second now calculate power what is power power equal to force into velocity okay so the units are in watts 157 watts okay right so the thing is that there is only one formula for v okay 2 pi f into amplitude of vibration where f equal to frequency okay frequency of amplitude 
sorry frequency of vibration f a equal to amplitude of vibration in these units in h and in meters okay right next fourth problem abrasive particle density effect the density of the abrasive particles used in a usm process is 4 grams per cubic centimeter and the volume fraction of abrasives in the slurry is 20 percent what is the effective density of the slurry okay see here the effective density of the slurry okay through slurry can be calculated using the weighted average of the densities of the abrasive particles and the fluid medium abrasive particles and the fluid medium okay so density of slurry equal to volume fraction of abrasive into density of abrasives plus volume fraction of fluid into density of fluid okay so here we have to assume the data okay assuming the density of the fluid that is water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter and given these details okay so from that data we can calculate by using this formula okay just substitute all the values here so that the density of this slurry is 1.6 gram per cubic centimeters okay right fifth problem material removal rate with different abrasive concentrations okay so in ultrasonic machining the following parameters are given okay frequency amplitude of vibration density of the work material abrasive particle size abrasive concentration in slurry okay in percentage volume of work material removed okay so calculate the material removal if the machining time is 3 minutes see suppose if the machining time is not given we have to assume let us say 2 to 3 minutes okay right so we know MRR formula volume of the material removed by time taken for the machining okay so we can calculate VR is given and T is given so the MRR is given or can be calculated okay that is 0 0.0267 cubic centimeters per minute okay very simple one okay next problem 6 effect of varying frequency and amplitude on material removal rate here two cases have been given case a and case b okay one set for case a and one set for case b calculate the mrr for both cases and compare them okay as simple here for case a volume of material removed by time taken for the machining same formula for case b also this is for case a okay mrr a okay so here what is given volume is given and time is given so 0.05 by 4 okay 0.05 by 4 similarly for case b 0 0.09 by 4 for both the cases the time taken for machining is 4 minutes okay see for b same 0 0.09 by 4 okay compare okay so here one value for case a and this is for case b okay case a case b so mrr in case b is significantly higher than this is bigger compared to a case a due to increased frequency and amplitude of vibration okay so here this data is not useful to calculate the MRR, but the thing is that this data will indirectly can be useful just to assess the MRR. Okay, so here frequency and amplitude of vibration are more in case B. So obviously MRR for case B should be high. So that's what we have written the statement. Okay, so case B significantly higher okay regarding mrr due to the increased frequency and amplitude of vibration 
okay this indicates that optimizing these parameters can lead to improved machining efficiency okay so with this uh, we can conclude these are the references okay thank you very much okay right so with this the presentation on ultrasonic machining problems and solutions have completed so if at all possible we will discuss some other special problems okay numerical problems okay in the subsequent presentations thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates